Welcome back to another episode of Building the EMG-6. In this episode, we're going to take a look at assembling the rudder spar subassembly, and this subassembly must be completed before we can begin the construction of the rest of the rudder assembly. This rudder spar subassembly consists of the rudder spar and three internal supports located at each of the rudder hinge eye bolts. And then in addition, we will also be positioning three nut plates and riveting them in place with 1 8 inch aluminum pop rivets. You will want to reference drawing 27-41-00-01, which is an overview of the positioning of each of the support inserts. Drawing 27-41-12 is the rudder spar mid support. Drawing 27-41-13 is the rudder spar lower support. And drawing 27-41-14 is the rudder spar upper support. We will begin the assembly process by inserting the rudder spar upper support, part number 27-41-14, into the spar. The only hole that is drilled into each of the inserts is the one quarter inch diameter hole that is used for the rudder hinge eye bolt. The orientation of this hole is relative to the proper positioning of each tube insert. Notice that in this particular tube, the hole is located at the bottom of the insert and the majority of the insert will be facing upward. A line should be drawn along the length of the insert with the line aligned with the bolt hole. This will allow us to maintain proper alignment of the insert as we slide the insert down the length of the spar tube. We will need another tube or a stick to slide the insert into its proper position. Once we have pushed the insert inside of the spar to the point that we can see the insert through the bolt hole, we will simply take a pick or a knife to slowly rotate the insert into alignment with the spar. Once we've done this, we can simply tap the insert the rest of the distance until the two bolt holes line up. When we are fairly close, we can use an alignment pin, a punch, or a bolt to align the insert in the spar perfectly. Once the insert is properly positioned, we can drill the holes for the nut plate using a number 30 drill bit. At this point, we can insert a Clico which will hold the insert in place while we remove the alignment pin. Next, we will remove the alignment pin and if necessary, you can run a one quarter inch drill bit through the hole to ensure a clean fit of the bolt. Before we can insert the nut plates though, we'll need to drill the mounting holes on the nut plates using an eighth inch or preferably a number 30 drill bit to enlarge the rivet holes. Next we will install the rudder hinge eye bolt with a washer and then we'll spin the nut plate onto the eye bolt. At this point it's not necessary to extend the eye bolt all the way into the nylock region of the nut plate. We'll simply position the nut plate with one Clico in one of the two holes and then using an eighth inch diameter pop rivet secure the nut plate to the spar. Then we'll remove the Clico from the other leg and install a pop rivet in that location as well. Now that we've completed the top support insert installation, we simply need to duplicate this entire process for the midsection and then of course for the lower section as well. Now that the inserts are properly installed and secured with the nut plate, we can see that the rib attached locations, which are on the side of the spar on either side, have not had the holes drilled yet. Now is the proper time for you to locate and drill these holes in the spar assembly itself. 
There will be three holes on either side of the spar for the upper insert location. There will be four holes on either side of the mid-span location and three holes on either side of the lower support section. Using a number 30 drill bit and the spar as a guide, drill through the remaining holes in the rest of the inserts. Once we have finished drilling all of the holes through the spar inserts, it would be a good time to look at deburring any of the remaining holes that may need deburring. Any burrs from the drilling may produce scratches on the other components as the construction of the rest of the assembly proceeds. We have now completed the rudder spar subassembly. The average construction time to build this rudder spar subassembly is typically 15 to 30 minutes. In our next video, we will proceed on to continue the construction or the remainder of the rudder assembly. Until then, we want to thank you for watching these videos and remind you to like us on the YouTube channel.